Now, apparently, we've got a big flip-flop issue here. So we'll see what had to be said. You wanted to ban fracking. Now you don't. You wanted mandatory government buyback programs for assault weapons. Now your campaign says you don't. You supported decriminalizing border crossings. Now you're taking a harder line. I know you say that your values have not changed. So then why have so many of your policy positions changed? So my values have not changed, and I'm going to discuss every one of the at least every point that you've made. But in particular, let's talk about fracking because we're here in Pennsylvania. I made that very clear in 2020. I will not ban fracking. I have not banned fracking as Vice President of the United States. And in fact, I was the tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which opened new leases for fracking. My position is that we have got to invest in diverse sources of energy so we reduce our reliance on foreign oil. We have had the largest increase in domestic oil production in history because of an approach that recognizes that we cannot over rely on foreign oil. As it relates to my values, let me tell you, I grew up a middle class kid raised by a hardworking mother who worked and saved and was able to buy our first home when I was a teenager. The values I bring to the importance of home ownership, knowing not everybody got handed $400 million on a silver platter and then filed bankruptcy six times, is a value that I bring to my work to say we are going to work with the private sector and home builders to increase 3 million homes, increase by 3 million homes by the end of my first term. My work that is related to having a friend when I was in high school who was sexually assaulted by her stepfather. And you see, that is, okay. The fact that she went there with that personal story was sexually assaulted by her stepfather, I, I, I don't give a fuck. What I do care about, which is important here, and it's not that I don't care. It's terrible what happened to her. It has no context whatsoever with what's being talked about here. But let's be very clear about that. But the idea that fracking has become such a key issue that there is no, no progressive angle whatsoever. It's not, we can't ban fracking now, but here's what we're going to do to make sure that the environment is on better standing. Do you know that in four years, there has been a significant amount of drilling that the Biden administration has done over what Trump did in his four years in office by a wide margin? They have been, the Biden administration has been exponentially worse on the environment than, than Trump was. That's unbelievable. So this idea that let's double down on this, let's figure out how we can continue to drill, drill, and drill some more. We already know that Trump is going to drill, baby, drill if he gets in there. So your response is, yeah, I'm going to drill. I'm going to drill even harder than you. That's what she's saying. That's not a good answer. What would be a good answer is saying, we understand that we're not in a position in this moment to transition away from fracking. However, what we must do is we must implement you don't even have to say the Green New Deal. You could just say we have to implement stronger elements of clean energy into this economy. And we have a lot of options. You've got wind, you've got solar, you've got geothermal, you've got hydro. And yes, I personally think that if you're going to transition away from coal and natural gas, you must consider the option of nuclear power and where that can go and where that would make the most sense. Again, that is yet to be determined. And I'm talking about series three, series four, excuse me, series four nuclear power. If you guys are not familiar with that, I highly recommend that you look into it. So let's see what else she has to say. And my focus then on protecting women and children from violent crime is based on a value that is deeply grounded in the importance of standing up for those who are most vulnerable. My work that is about protecting Social Security and Medicare is based on long-standing work that I have done, protecting seniors from scams. My values have not changed. But what does that have to do with the questions that were asked? That's my question. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't. You can talk about how you support... Uh, 
you could talk about how you support Medicare and Social Security, but you have flip-flopped on key issues that actually matter to a lot of people. And yes, the fracking issue is a big issue. While it does provide jobs, it also destroys the environment in a big way. And I am sure that a lot of people voting in Pennsylvania, as well as other parts of the Rust Belt, are not thrilled with that. In fact, it's a problem everywhere. In fact, one of the CEOs, I can still remember this, and this was in the state of Colorado, perfectly pointing out that this is a problem for all of the citizens. And then they asked, would you have a fracking well on your property? And he said, of course not. So it's it's okay if everybody else suffers from the environmental effects of this, you know, kind of like the poison water in Flint, Michigan, East Palestine. Rules for thee, not for me. And what is important is that there is a president who actually brings values and a perspective that is about lifting people up and not beating people down and name calling. The true measure of the leader is the leader who actually understands the strength is not in beating people down, it's in lifting people up. I intend to be that president. President Trump, your Well, first of all, I wasn't given $400 million. I wish I was. My father was a Brooklyn builder, Brooklyn, Queens, and a great father, and I learned a lot from him. But I was given a fraction of that, a tiny fraction, and I built it into many, many billions of dollars, many, many billions. And when people see it, they are even surprised. So Donnie, most people don't get squat. So once you have given or are given a significant amount of money, you already have a leg up on everybody else. Compounding interest, value, uh, capital, ready to invest in other opportunities, which is why I said years ago, somebody like Paris Hilton can't lose. Not possible. Keys to the kingdom are already there. And there is no way out. You couldn't be a big enough colossal fuck up to throw it all away. When you're at that level, there are rules and regulations for people at the top who can't fail even when they fail, like when one of your hotels in Atlantic City failed. So, yeah, you were given a substantial leg up. It was a, a million dollars or something like that, but this was back in the 1970s. And even still, could you imagine having a real estate developer father give you a million dollars and say, hey, listen, I'm going to guide you and you're going to do this, that, and the other thing? It's almost impossible not to succeed. So we don't have to talk about that. Fracking, she's been against it for 12 years. Uh, defund the police, she's been against that forever. She gave all that stuff up very wrongly, very horribly, and everybody's laughing at it, okay? They're all laughing at it. She gave up at least 12 and probably 14 or 15 different policies. Like, she was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out, wait a minute, I'm talking now, if you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? She went out. That, that, that pissed her off. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, uh, if he was waiting for an opportunity to let her have that. But let me tell you, she is not happy that he said that at all. That was supposed to be her line. Maybe she does get to that line at some point. We'll see. She went out in Minnesota and wanted to let criminals that killed people, that burned down Minneapolis, she went out and raised money to get them out of jail. She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. This is a radical left liberal that would do this. She wants to confiscate your guns and she will never allow fracking in Pennsylvania. If she won the election, fracking in Pennsylvania will end on day one. Just to finish one thing, so important in my opinion. So I got the oil business going like nobody has ever done before. They took, when they took over, they got rid of it, started getting rid of it, and the prices were going up the roof. They immediately let these guys go to where they were. Okay. Uh, two things. Two things, very important here. Uh, whatever, and Trump was actually correct uh, about Kamala funding these um, 
these people that were arrested in Minnesota, she actually did do that because I saw it. I remember when it happened. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know who told you that this was a good idea politically, but it sure as hell isn't. And he was ready for that one. He was ready to let her have it on that. And that's an issue that matters. But then he just complete, you know, it's funny. It's like he's lying about the fact that they drilled more than he did. It's like he has this opportunity to speak. And what he decides to do is say, when they came into power, they totally stopped drilling. It was really dumb. No, they did more than you did. So what you're lying about is you're trying to make them look good. In reality, they're worse than you.